Antichamber is a module in AMBER tool package which is used to generate forceful parameters and partial charges for small organic molecules. It is designed to be used in conjunction with the general AMBER force field. Whereas, PARMCHK2 analyzes an input force field library file and extracts relevant parameters into a FRC mod file. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use these two modules to create the force field parameter files and how to load the files in xlib. This is the general command to run antichamber. Firstly, we have to mention the input file name and file format. So here it is a PDF file but uh, you can also use a Gaussian output file or a multi file. Then uh, we have to mention the output file name and file format. Here it will be a multi file. Next uh, we need to specify the net charge of the system. So here it is minus one. Then uh, the charge method. We are using M1 PCC charge method and then the atom type which is GAF2 here. So uh, these are the different uh, charge methods used in antichamber and uh, these are the different atom types. Now uh, this is the general command to create the FRC mod file from the output mod2 file using parmchk2. Now this FRC mod file is the modified force field parameter file which contains the missing parameters of the ligand. This is our molecule for methoxybenzoate. It has minus one charge and uh, this is our file. So we have to go to that directory and run the antichamber command. So this is our command. Now I'll hit enter. Okay, so uh, this mol2 file has been generated. This is the file. Now I'll run the parm chq2 command. So this uh, frc mod file has been generated. So this file contains the missing parameters. Now you have to load the files in xlib. So firstly, uh, we have to load the general number force field. So here we are using CAF2. Then you have to load the mol2 file. And then the FRC mod file. Now you can visualize the molecule. So this is the ligand. Now you can uh, create the topology and coordinate files for this molecule. For the protein ligand complex, you can uh, firstly uh, dock the ligand with the protein using autodock. Then you just uh, take the dock structure of the ligand and uh, create the modified force field parameters using antichamber. Then you just uh, load the files in xlib along with the protein force field and protein PDV file. Then you just uh, uh, solve it the whole system and create the topology and current files. So that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any inquiry, you can ask me in the comment section.